This is my 2014 January 1st Chain B deck. It seems to be doing pretty well, and it is needs a lot of revision though still, like any deck, pretty much. But here, let's get started. First off, I have three Wind Up Rabbit. Wind Up Rabbit is pretty much the main player of the deck. He runs away whenever he wants, except during damage step, so he's really good. Then we have three Thunderbird. He can chain himself two things to run away, just like Rabbit. So, um, Rabbit is good to have with him. Next, because this is the anti-meta, two Falsodina. Uh, can't pronounce that last part of the name, but you know what I mean. Falsodina. Stop that special summoning. And when Rabbit and Thunderbird come back, it doesn't count as special summoning, so both of these guys don't get affected by Falsodina. Because the anti-meta, we have a Thunder King Ryo. Very good. Stop that extra deck because a lot of people are using extra deck right now. I'm using two Brotherhood of the Firefist Bear. Uh, this deck has a huge problem getting over big monsters, and Bear gets rid of them, and that's why I run two of them because I can't get over those big monsters. Next, something that definitely is going to be changed in the future. Uh, three Tour Guide of the Underworld. I want to trade it out for two Phoenix Chain and a Gale uh, Blackwing. The anti meta cards right there. And since they special summon, it's not very good in this deck. I'm trying to stop special summoning. Then we have three Tinky. Because I have five Beast Warriors, and I have trouble hitting the big monsters, that's what these are for to crash into big monsters using the bear. Like I said, since I don't do much special summoning, I have three Pot of Duality. Uh, for consistency, usually I don't even uh, start, my opening hand doesn't usually have a monster, so usually I duality into a tinky or have a tinky or have a duality and get those. Next we have three, Black Garden. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Black Garden, but it works, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, I don't like having to do the math of having to half everything. I remember to just get all the tokens and all that jazz, but it's still really good. And since my monsters don't count as special summoning, uh, Black Garden doesn't affect that. If you don't know what Black Garden does, it has your opponent, your whatever summon monsters attack, and then makes a token. Uh, next up, something that's also probably going to be revised later. Uh, three MST. I'm probably just going to run two, mostly because since most of my monsters run away anyway, I don't really care about back row hate very much, because I can just dodge anything. Uh, and then finishing up spells, one dark hole. Uh, I finish for a geki since I can just run away. Now for traps, this is a pretty hit trap heavy deck. We have one torrential, one bottomless, one solemn, and one compulse. And that's because I can only run one of each. Uh, Trenchel is especially really good since it's like a uh, channel ragiki. So that's fantastic. Next up, two Mirror Force. Just to beat back my opponent. And I usually leave my field open a lot on accident because I run every have everything run away. Two Black Horn of Heaven. Very good this format. People are just special summoning out the wazoo from their extra deck. Some new cards. Well, not new. Old cards that people never really used. Uh, three compulsory escape device opposed to evacuation. Uh, if you don't know what this does, it says each player chooses one monster they control and shuffles it into the deck. Um, as long as I have a monster on the field, once it activates, it still works. So if I have a rabbit and I activate... Um, escape device, then chain rabbit, rabbit goes away, escape device makes my opponent uh, return a monster to their deck, and then I don't have to worry about it. Same deal with needle ceiling. What this does is I can only activate this card if there are four more monsters on the field, and then destroy all face up monsters. So it's a lot like Trenchel and that, and since I can just have everything run away, it doesn't really matter, and it's easy to get four monsters out, and that's on either side. So now on to the extra deck. Because this deck is not very 
special summoning oriented. The extra deck has a lot of room for chain beat. So I don't really because I don't really use it much. So first up, I always think these two go together. Number fifty and Black Ship of Corn and Pablo Operative. Um, I guess it's just to get rid of big monsters that I can't usually get rid of. Because that's like my biggest problem in like back row. Uh, when I say back row, I mean like uh, the Skill Drain and Imperial Iron Wall. Those are really hard for me. Because I do have two Fire Fist, I might as well have this Cardinal. I pulled it out of a pack, and so I just decided to leave, leave it in there. So he's he's alright. I don't. I've never really gone out with half, like more than half of these monsters, so it doesn't even matter. Above the chain, uh, I guess he's in there mostly because I can choose one monster from my deck and place it on the top. He doesn't just send. Uh, Utopia, if you can see it, Utopia. It's Utopia, so he's pretty much getting anything, and he's generic. Uh, then we have a Utopia Ray, just in case. I don't think I'll ever get him off. I don't think anyone ever does. Uh, one Gaga Cowboy, pretty much the only XZ monster that I ever really ever make. Um, I mean, I might use him like once every like five matches. Uh, then on to rank threes. Because I have those two tour guys in there right now, I do have a couple rank threes. So I have a Leviathan Dragon, he's my favorite. Uh, Levier to get back bears that get bottomless. That's pretty much the only time I ever use him. He's probably the second most monster I ever bring, uh, bring out from extra deck. Uh, Giga Brilliant. I just had space, I'm sorry. Um, an Acid Golem. He's mostly a get over big monsters, and because they don't special summon, it doesn't really matter to me very much. And a Zid Mains for that defense. Defense. And. Um, I guess I could banish him with Wind Up Rabbit, but it's not that big of an issue, not the point of it. Alright, so before I finish up my ex uh, extra deck, I have three more monsters. First up, Loggy and Dolka. Mostly because um, I have DNA surgeries in my side deck. I can make these guys. I usually pick dinosaurs unless my opponent is trying to make Loggy and Dolka. They usually aren't. So I can pick dinosaurs and I can make these guys if I needed to. So I just have one copy of each. I used to have a Dino Rabbit deck when that was actually alive, so that's why I still have those. And then Infernal Flame Vixen, I don't ever plan on ever getting her out, but I had the space, and if something they're running Dino, I could call Pyro. So now for the side, uh, two DD Assailant is usually to get rid of the big monsters that I have issues with. Um, a DD Warrior Lady, same reason. 2DD Crow when people are playing out of their back row, or in their graveyard. Uh, one Gorilla. I'm only using Gorilla to trade in for a bear uh, in my main deck. So if my person, if my opponent's running heavy back row, I might trade in one bear for one Gorilla. Um, two Prohibition, standard for side deck. Uh, dimensional Fissure and also have a Macrocosmos. Most people main deck these. I don't think it's really important. Um, I don't. I see only a few people ever use their graveyard very much. It's not a huge deal right now. People for people use their graveyard, so I don't think they're really necessary in the main deck. I might side it in every other third game or so. Like I said, I have DNA surgery. I have seen a lot of people trying to use. Um, different like monster oriented types and also it just helps me screw over my opponent. Uh Kyrgya I think is gonna be a top deck and that's gonna stop them when they use the cow curry as well. Um two seven tools the bandit just in case there is heavy side uh back row because there are some macro cards that do catch me like Phoenix Chain it will get my monsters caught and once I lose those I don't really have much. So he used to protect that. I don't ever really side them in too much. And then one Dust Tornado, which will be probably taken out uh, for a Mystical Space Typhoon when I figure out what I want to do with my third Mystical Space Typhoon spot. So that's my deck for the Chain Beat 2014, January. Hope you guys liked it, even though probably no one's ever going to see this. Peace.